Hi, hello and namaste friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, RSK Competitive World. Friends, uh, in the last session we have, we have discussed regarding stomach, uh, functions of the stomachs and uh, how uh, the digestive juice will help to di digest the ca complex food into a simpler one. What kind of enzyme will play a very important role inside the stomach and which will release it. Everything we discuss it. So today we will discuss about next compartment, small intestine. See, small intestine in the when discussing in the last session only I discussed that partial digestion process will take place in the stomach so the partially digested food will be next passed towards the small intestine and the complete digestion process will take place in the small intestine so here small intestine how it will play is important role in that complete digestion and what kind of juices are playing very important role here and any other enzymes will working on it so is these all questions will arise in our mind and we'll uh, discuss in detail about uh, these all enzymes okay about uh, its functions and also some kinds of juices will play very important role here see small intestine is the longest part of the human digestive system so uh, it is a very longest part very longest compartment in human digestive system so it is called small intestine why because it is compared with a if you compare this small intestine with a larger one diameter wise it is very smaller that's why we can call it as a small intestine that's it got my point so length wise if you compare with a large intestine smaller intestine is very 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 long that's why we named it as a longest part then how much it is long it is nearly 7.5 meter long then how it will be placed in, the, you know, in your mind the question will arise that so if it is nearly 7 to 7 fine 7.5 meter means if we convert that meter to the foot will nearly it is 20 to 22 or 23 feet completely so will it be how it will be uh, situated inside how it will the system made it how it will be placed so this is a question arises in your mind that the answer for this question is the small intestine it is the longest part it is a coiled like structure it is it is a coiled like structure here they have mentioned the word coiled like structure here see this coiled like structure means completely it is a coiled in a, a circular manner which is situated in the abdomen which is situated in the abdomen so you will be surprised that it is also 3.5 times longer than our body. Are you getting my point? It is 3.5 times longer than our body length. If you come, for example, if the body, if you consider, if the body, if it is X centimeter, it is 3.5 centimeter. Got my point? It's a body length. If you consider, it is a body length. So it is length of the small intestine. Got my point? It is small intestine. Are you getting my point? So that much longer it is. If you consider the body as X centimeter, it will be 3.5 centimeter longer. Just I am giving example. It will be not in the centimeter wise or it is meter wise. So it is 3.5 times longer than our body. If you if you the height will be uh, varies varies from person to person that's why they have mentioned here they have not mentioned here any centimeter meter or something else so that's why it is 3.5 of your body length okay so the small intestine receives partly digested food from the stomach so yesterday only we discussed so that is small intestine means the partially digested food will be passed from the stomach towards the small intestine so here the digestion get completed where in small intestine complete digestion process where it will complete here it will be completely digestion digestion process will take place inside the small intestine the what functions the small intestine will play here that is that absorption of digested food also takes place in the small intestine means the partially digested food when it will be transferred or passed from stomach to the small intestine the complete digestion process will be takes place in small intestine parallelly to the to that absorption process will also takes place 
this is, is very important the small intestine receives three types of juice here so whenever we discuss a stomach inside stomach what kind of juice will be there that is a concentrated hydrochloric juice what is the function of that that will play that very important role inside the stomach that will kill the germs and also will help the digestion process so here here in the small intestine we have three namely very important juices we have first one is intestinal juice will be released from the walls of the intestine means inner walls of the intestine will be releasing this intestinal juice so bile is another kind of a juice which will be stored in a gallbladder and which can be released by the liver liver will release this bile juice very very important the question arises in your mind that why this bile will get collected in the gallbladder which will be released by the liver got my point everything you, we have the answer for these all questions got my point so we will have a food because of that food only that will be that liver that liver will plays very important role here why it will collect this bile juice because bile contain that is a fat molecules the fat molecules will all collected in the liver afterwards with the help of the enzymes will start converting that fat molecules into simpler fat molecules got my point that will i will discuss afterwards so pancreatic juice is another juice secreted or release, released by pancreas and this pancreas is another part of the human body which will be lies above the kidneys okay very important this is also and we'll discuss the functions of these one why these three juices are released in the intestinal juice what are its function what are its roles in the small intestine that we will discuss in the next slide okay thank you see intestinal juice and pancreatic juice contain digestive enzymes which act on carbohydrates fats proteins and complete the process of digestion are you getting my point why these all juices are there inside the small intestine because to digest means these carbohydrates fats proteins all are there in the food molecules the food molecules initially complex one because stomach will not completely digest partially it will digest and remaining food will be passed to the this small intestine and the juice these all juices will be released by small intestine walls of the small intestine that is intestinal juice bile by the liver and pancreatic juice by pancreas these all together will be attacking on these food molecules which are complex in the nature will convert them as a small food molecules It means completely they will absorb what are the nutrients if it are present in these all all there will be absorption also will takes place digestion also will be takes place in the small intestine very 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 important okay so here another three main enzymes that works on these substances so the enzymes only the, in the last session only we discussed about this enzyme is very important enzyme will nothing but uh, it will speed up the digestion process it will speed up the digestion process act like a catalyst okay act like a catalyst act like a catalyst so means to speed up the digestion process and what kind of enzymes are there how they will play a particular that is nutrients for example trypsin is also kind of that is enzyme will work on proteins so question arises in your mind that you told that sir in the last session the proteins will be uh, there inside the stomach and uh, inner wall of the stomach will be releasing some kind of a enzyme we can call that is a pepsin and it will work on protein so proteins are not only there so that remaining protein molecules will be transport small intestine also so those proteins will be attacked by the name of the enzyme we can say that is a trypsin and further they will act on it and they will completely they will make it to crushing means they will act on it and we will convert that protein molecules into simple proteins that is peptides we discussed this one and carbohydrates so carbohydrates initially these are also a nutrient and the name of the enzyme amylase will work on the carbohydrates and 
lipids lipids are nothing but the fat molecules and these fat molecules nothing but we can say that is a bile juice in the form of bile juice will be collected in the liver and the re, the, the liver will release this uh, enzyme called lipase will be uh, acting on the lipids means they will start working on the lipids or we can say fats molecules so those fat molecules will be uh, complex fat molecules will be converted into simpler fat uh, molecules so which will be acting on this lipids or fats lipase is a enzyme thus all major components of the food get digested in the small intestine okay major whatever the major food components will be there no in the form of protein carbohydrates fats or lipids we can say see these all will be get digested in the smaller intestine that's why I'm, before only i mentioned one point that the complete digestion process will take place in a smaller intestine and absorption also got my point so here what is the function of the bile how it will work that will some points i included here just to uh, observe this bile does not contain any digestive enzyme but it performs two function see bile initially that bile juice does not contain any digestive enzyme got my point that will be initially does not contain any digestive enzyme but it will be collected in the liver afterward liver, uh, liver will release this uh, enzyme called a lipase then afterwards it will start working on it, it will convert that uh, fatty acids or we can say that is a uh, fat molecules will be bigger fat molecules will be converted into smaller fat molecules so what are its function then bile bile contains a, a very important it will uh, perform a major two functions those are it makes the medium alkaline for the action of other enzyme so what it will do it will make that alkaline medium little bit makes a alkaline medium whenever it will come to the acid basis and salt we'll discuss about the acidic medium and alkaline medium opposite word of the alkaline is acidic okay so it makes the medium alkaline for the action of other enzymes because other enzymes will work in the uh, environment like uh, it needs the medium like alkaline that's why it will help it bile juice will help it to make it as a alkaline medium and other enzymes will come and it will work on like that okay so and also it breaks down the big molecules of fat into a smaller got my point the this bile juice that will make one function that it will perform a function that it will convert that bigger molecule of the fat fat into a smaller molecules so this process is also called we can say that is a emulsification we have here emulsification so emulsification emulsification so conversion of a bigger fat molecule into a smaller fat molecules is called emulsification and keep in mind this emulsification process is a different from digestion process both are not a equal meaning so emulsification is different digestion is different so another simple point is there whenever the food molecules start moving uh, into uh, the smaller intestine the inner wall of the smaller intestine made like a finger like projections we can call them as a villi so finger like projections we can call them as a villi so those villi whenever the food molecules will start those villi will start absorbing those in the nutrients so nutrients completely there will be digested and whenever it will be passing from that that those villi the finger like projection start absorbing those nutrients in the form of vitamins minerals those and further these vitamins and minerals not been digested so that is the final stage and those vitamins and minerals will be passed through the blood vessels the blood capillaries and afterwards will be last part of the human body we can say that is a cell molecule that is a cell structure means at the end of the human body means last part means a cell only so why we need to consume these all food we'll get a energy in the form of these that is vitamins and minerals when these cells will get these all vitamins and minerals will get energy and will start working will start thinking will start running will start working will start observing will talk start talking each other so these all the the functions will starts the human body functions will starts automatically so uh, if you stop eating food then you will be completely will become mild you will not work your mind means your brain will not work got my point so this is why 
So villi's are nothing but a finger-like projections which are inside the wall of the smaller intestine. Got my point? The smaller intestine, the white, what, what, what are the functions of these villi? They will work that they will absorb these food molecules which is digested already in the form of vitamins and mineral and afterwards they will pass these vitamins and minerals towards the blood vessels and blood vessels are get connected internally to these villi's. Got my point? So this is what the functions of a that is a villi which is a finger like structure inside the small intestine. This is whole story about a small intestine. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Keep on sharing my videos and tell them to subscribe also. Thank you so much.